Okay, I am going to do a quick show off of a Nintendo 64 emulator called Mupen 64 Plus using Steam Controller. I will not go into too much this detail within this video, but I'm going to include a link to Steam Forum where there are more better information that I, I actually did a kind of a quick guide on it. So obviously you can go and search for it yourself or you can follow my little bit of a link. So if you got it down. And this guide just tells you what kind of configuration files to edit and what to add. Since the Mupen 64 Plus uses a kind of auto detection mechanisms, you need to add the Steam controller and then you need to force Mupen 64 Plus to use it as otherwise, since it takes a short while before you run in the game and the Steam overlay kicks in and everything, it's going to de detect it as a regular keyboard and mouse and uh, that's fine you can use it in that mode but I prefer to have X input with the uh, you know the true analog feeling and then you need to follow the guide I'm gonna post the link and you can you know decide for yourself if you like to try it or not and I'm doing this because a lot of people are using Project 64 which is a great emulator but it is not as stable together with Steam and Steam Controller. So, when if you follow this guide first, and make sure first, to, before you even try this guide, to run one game, you know, without doing anything, it's going to use the keyboard, but it's fine just to make sure that the configuration is set up, the files are created, and that you can get, that you get video and everything seems to be running first. Then you go through this guide, and when you done that, you can do it. Different. There are two kinds of different ways. One, within this guide, I have a little bit of a link to an, an Nintendo 64 game launcher for the Mopen 64 Plus that I created. It's got bug, so you if you don't place it in the correct folder, it will crash. It should not crash your computer, but it will crash the program itself. Otherwise, it should be, you know, quite straightforward. All it is is searching through a directory where you have your backed up games, and it's going to list them. And then it's going. You can, you know, start the game from there, and it will launch the Mopen 64 Plus. And there are better GUIs out there you can find on the internet that even allows you to edit uh, video plugins and settings and stuff, you know, fine. I'm actually going to show you a different way. If you don't play a lot of games at once, or well, if you do, you just like to do it anyway, you can add a manual. So what you then do is you go into games, add a non-Steam game, and you browse to the folder where you unpacked your Mappen 64 Plus, and you choose Mappen 64 Plus UI console.exe. Dot exe, exe, and you know the main file for the program, and you add that. I've already done that, and then you do it properties, and you can change the name on top, matching the backed up game you have, and then you add within brackets, you add the full path to the game, the backed up game you have on your hard drive. You can also choose an icon, which I have done, which looks very nice in big picture mode. I'm going to go in there in a moment, because big picture mode is much more stable. You can edit you know, the configuration file of the Steam controller from the desktop kind of way now, but it is not stable. So, you add this one, and you can add more. I have GoldenEye and I have Mario Kart. Now, doing it this way has two advantages. One is obviously that you will get per game setting. You can tweak, you know, how you want the controller to be for every game. Uh, very fine. You also get, you know, more kind of a nice feeling of, I'm going to show off. If you enter big picture mode, and if you have added your own icon, it's going to look, you know, like this. 
much more fun than if you really have to have it. You know, it's much more better than just it is the game launcher icon, you know, a basic one. Here you have per game, you can choose this, you know, the icon yourself, you can find on the internet, or you can you do your own screenshot, which I did. And yeah, and then you go in. And obviously, you need to be um, running within a gamepad mode, you can use the basic uh, see you have uh, gamepad you can use this one and it will work uh, kind of basic one you know you get your stick you get your a b button the c buttons and the digital and you know you get the, the c button i think is this one and you got you know the regular bumpers uh, but the greatest thing is Obviously, obviously this, that you can tweak it. So I had made that this one is this button instead. So I jump using this one and I shoot using this. That's a normal C button. But you know, you can make shoot be you know, here, 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 everywhere you like. You know, and I choose to have the gas and brake on this one. Um, so if I then go into the golden eye, you can see that it's a different one. And you can do all of this one to your own liking. You know, just save it when you're done, make it, give it a nice name and everything. And then boot it up and try it out and what this also is good with Moopin64 Plus is if you run through big picture mode the Steam overlay is stable uh, it wasn't as stable as Moopin64 this works and uh, obviously using uh, Moopin64 Plus you don't need the you know turn off the controller trick or anything you can have it plugged in from the get go and you can you know, bring up and tweak the configuration as you like. It works very, very fine and stable for me. So you know, you run the game, you tweak it, and it will be saved, you know, per the game. This is a great thing, and I think the graphics are just as good as Xbox 64. And the main advantage, this advantage, you know, might be that you need a, you know, but. The main way to set it up is to edit it in the file. Unless you go for a third party group. Desktop kind of way to configure, and that's not stable at all. So, I still recommend you to go to the picture mode to set the color. So, okay, I hope you this. This could be really. Have a look and uh, see if you like it. You can stick to it for the 64 if you want to find it. You can see that you can do it that way. I think that is a little bit more of a better fit for the Steam controller and definitely for the location one. And then you can actually do something similar like when you're adding targeting to the core system also. So, yeah. But then again, you need to have the controllers turn off before the game starts. Uh, one thing obviously is that uh, you need to add 
in this you can see I've added escape that you know turns off the emulator uh, shuts it down exit or whatever or you can actually use this exit shortcut uh, your own you know preferred way obviously obviously you an exit shortcut could potentially damage your save source you know stuff like that since it doesn't send the proper shutdown to the emulator but it should probably in most most cases work fine but you know we recommend to bind the escape to one button and, you know it's just and you're back to play any game you like and that's all I had for now.